All right, so to set up the netting, the first thing we wanna do is remove the uh, bubble wrapping. I already moved, removed it from these two to kind of speed up the process. Um, it can take a while and it is a little bit frustrating, but I have some scissors here to help me out. Um, again, there's no real science to this. It's just pretty much take it off as best as you can without um, cutting off any of the netting, which, uh, which hasn't happened, but gonna go ahead and remove this one here and then I'm just placing it right back on there right uh, you don't have to take the carabiner off I'm just doing it just because it's the easiest way for me to do it uh, if you find another way of doing this for yourself by all means do it that way all right Great, now that those, wrap, those protective sleeves are off, um, what we want to do is go ahead and make sure all these telescoping poles function, right? I'm pulling them all out like so. Um, they shouldn't be stuck or obviously very difficult to pull out. Just to remember, each pole does have one, two, three, four, five segments. And you can tell that they're segments by the gold sticker um, that's uh, surrounding them. So we wanna make sure that all of our poles are functional. Once that's there, what I'll do is I'll come behind the machine here and there's a little spring plunger here that you pull kind of like a grenade pin. And what the trick here is not to set it up all the way, literally just to leave it in this sort of V shape. And what that's gonna help us do is that's gonna make the telescoping poles really easy to extend and they're really like, if you really think about it, they're kind of like uh, those collapsible table legs um, that you see all the time, uh, except that there's five segments of them. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and if you notice, I'm not doing one entire pole. I'm doing uh, pretty much segments at a time, kind of going around the machine um, to make sure that the net is expanding evenly. Uh, because what can happen is if you try and extend one full pole, uh, without extending the other poles, your netting may get stuck and get tangled and whatnot. So here we're fully expanded. The net's looking good. The, now I'm going to go ahead and put my hands underneath here um, to extend the upper crown all the way to the up position. So I'm pushing up and there you go. The last thing I'm going to do to set up the net is for this version of the machine, uh, this netting has these paracord tether um, attached to it and the corresponding holes on the base of the machine are found right there. There's two, uh, one for each carabiner. And all I wanna do is go ahead and attach, attach it there, if I can get it, there you go. Perfect. So that's one. And then I'll come to the other side here and do the same thing. So here's the carabiner. The holes here might be a little bit hard to see, but it uh, doesn't take too many tries to lock it in. Okay. After the uh, I've attached the cords, I'll let the funnel sort of drop into a, a nice position. Make sure everything looks good. And now the machine should be ready to shoot. I already placed the machine near a goal. Um, what I do is I set up the machine near my goal, then I grab my pole, my rear poles here, and I just slide it right on back, use, uh, uh, using my hands to place the net into the position that I want. And then from there, your netting is set up, you should be good to go um, and start shooting. All right, so once you're done shooting with the machine, you're ready to put it up. Um, what, you, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously get it away from the goal that you're, uh, you're shooting at. You can move the net with your hands like so. And what I like to do, I like to place this platform right on the struts so it's resting on here. And then I'll pull the spring plunger pin out and drop that down, right? Once it's down, this platform will so, sort of nestle into the struts like so. And then I can start placing the telescoping poles down one by one. 
And honestly, while I'm doing that, I'm sort of grabbing the net and just throwing it inside of the funnel. Now, I mean, that's not necessary, but what that helps is next time I go to put it up, it's not tangling on any of the poles or the hardware, just because that can happen a lot if you just kind of let your net uh, sag a lot. All right, these are the last ones here. Going, going ahead and again, placing that net right inside of the funnel. So once I'm here, uh, you wanna make sure never to like tap down on the poles just because they can get damaged that way. Just place them down as much as you can and then go ahead and close, uh, the, close the upper as much as you can. You don't wanna force it together either just because obviously there's material there. And go down to the locking mechanism here grab and unlock it there and always always remember to release the rail so the rail um, without it the uh the upper will fall on it and can damage it so sometimes um, that can happen you want to make sure that's all the way down once that's all the way down bring the upper forward and place it like so so here sitting in position, the machine does come with a throw, throwover bag. Um, the bag, the way that you place the bag on is you want to make sure the logo is facing the correct direction. And you want to find the zipper. So we're going to go ahead and open the zipper. And that open section, what you want to do is throw it over the nose like so. Then zip it up and Velcro the back. It does have uh, clips on the bottom if you're gonna transport it in a vehicle or something like that just for extra security. For most, most cases, this is enough for storage. Um, you can go ahead and wheel it wherever it is that you're storing the machine. And that's pretty much all you need to do to break it down.